capturing the neighborhood of food program and home children's service. And we were like, what are you talking about? Like, you, right? And they were like, our property values and blah, blah, blah. It's like, what? Property values mean more than human lives? And I think, unfortunately, I think that's what happened to the Castro. As the upscale people moved in, the attitudes became, you know, more, more of the attitudes of the upper class. There is this sense in this town that, that we are becoming a city of the very rich and the very poor. We all know people have been pushed out at an alarming rate. I mean, I would say thousands and thousands of people have been pushed out in the last 12 years from mainly the eastern side of the city where all the renters are. The mayor in this last election yep. campaign and all the people opposing him never used the words rent control at all. There were nine or ten other people opposing the mayor. None of them mentioned it in a description of, of what they believed and what they're interested in. The mayor, who's been in office for how many years now, <laughs> uh, has never used the words rent control. So and they are trying to make this into something that no one can put their fingers on. It's just going to happen. They're already building market rate condos in, in Bayview, and you know that they're not going to have market rate condos next to projects. You know what's going to go, and it ain't going to be the market rate condos. We're already seeing that Bayview is going to go the way the Fillmore did, and they're going to gentrify the neighborhood and push out the people who are living there now and bring in more upscale people. Well, from when the Fillmore and the Western Edition and all that um, gentrification happened, we're still feeling those effects, and then anyone who's gone through the dot-com boom knows that, you know, it looks good now in comparison because then people literally were renting out closets. Literally renting out they closes for like they 600 to 800 dollars. Yeah. still are. Is there any like options for people to make? I mean, there's no aff affordable housing for actual poor people. Move to the East Bay, uh, that's, that's which is what's what happening. I, I live in Berkeley and Oakland, and that has been the tale of the last 10 years. And unfortunately, a lot of us from the East Bay are getting pushed out by people who have been pushed out of San Francisco. There's a ballot initiative that supposedly is about eminent domain issues, but actually will repeal rent control throughout the state. So San Francisco could lose rent control next June. Think of um, over 350,000 apartments suddenly losing rent control in San Francisco and all the people that could get displaced potentially by something like that. As far as I'm concerned, it's the end of the whole east side of San Francisco. The whole east side will just gentrify overnight, and all of the great things that we love about San Francisco would be gone overnight. Keep it in there. Under pressure, 
or ice ice baby under pressure no question <clears throat> But Vanilla Ice used to be better. Well, I don't care. Vanilla Ice versus Queen and Bowie? No question. I got one for you. Super Freak or You Can't Touch This? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the songs, the videos. Oh, oh, shit. Yes. Um, okay. Uh... You can't touch this. Hammer with the big poofy pants, bunch of thick chicks and knee pads, everybody's working <laughs> it, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, Super Freak, Rick James in a big white room with some Euro hoes just grinding out on his guitar, <laughs> right? Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to pay my respects and go with Rick James on this one. <laughs> Like Hammer, well, Hammer was tight and all, but but Big Rick, he got he he got that high angle going, and he was just he was working it on that guitar. Like <laughs> girls was just in the way, and he was still just playing and just just calling them out by name, just saying you're a super freak. Like they get mad and walk out. <laughs> That's how hard he was. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna fix your bike for you. What's wrong with my bike? Your brakes were sticking. Hmm? You should get yourself a fixed gear bike. <laughs> nah, you'd be real hot. You'd be like Mae Jemison, first black woman to ride a fixed gear bike through the marina. <laughs> Hell, you're probably the first black woman in the marina. Hey, you ever think about how black folks are only 7% of the city? You have a real issue with race, you know that? Obviously, but I'm serious, and this ain't the weed talking. You ever think about how we're only 7% of the city? You're not 7%, you're Micah. You know what I mean. Like, if black folks are 7% of the city, and then you take whatever 1% or 2% considers itself, like, punk, or indie, or folk, or, you know, just not what you see on BET. Like, you ever realize just how few of us there really are? Mm, no. I mean, check it. You might go to a show, and for, for every, like, 300 people, it's probably one black person. They damn near guaranteed to have their arm around somebody white. I'm just saying. All right, check it. How do you define yourself? Excuse me? Like, how do you define yourself? If you had to describe, you know, your idea of how you see the world, like, how would you do it in one word? That makes no sense. People aren't that simple. How can you define yourself in one word? Easy. Me, I'm a black man. That's how I see the world. That's how the world sees me. But if I have to choose one, I'm black before I'm a man. So therefore, I am black. I don't see it that way. Why not? That's your problem. You feel you have to define everybody. You limit them to the point where they're just a definition and not people. How you figure? You just said it. You went from, I am Micah, to I am black. I'm not? Yes, but you're everything else, too. That's not how society sees it. Well, who gives a shit about what society thinks? I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. Let's, let's do something. What you want to do? I want to dance. All right. White folks or black folks? My bad. 
Mm -hmm. But you are not taking this. No, no, you are much too high to ride a bicycle. Mm -mm. No, you can't token ride. <laughs> no. You do that, you'll give marijuana a bad name. <laughs> go ahead and put those shoes on. Because you don't want to go out there in sock feet. <laughs> then everybody will know you're high. <laughs> Let's ride bikes into the sea and catch